Hello my friends, my name is Amanda with Manda Panda Projects and today I have a super cute winter snowflake little sign that I made with a napkin from my big pack of crap craftkins which is my adorable individual napkin subscription where you get 18 napkins sent to you every three months and it's going to be opening up the beginning of february so comment craftkins if you want the link because this next round is adorable so what i did is just use a dollar tree like wooden sign that already had a wood bead hanger okay a i painted the entire thing with white i used waverly plaster chalk paint so super easy to do that. Then I took the napkin, I just opened it up, and then I sized it out to fit the side, size of the inside of this little wooden sign. I actually need to get some more of these signs because I am out and I've used them quite a few times. They come in handy. Um, so I just used my fingernails, got in the creases, I used my Frixion pen, and just traced out the outline. So then I cut the napkin out, then I used my Mod Podge, and I did the iron technique. Normally, I like to just do the you know good old regular Mod Podge, decoupage technique, but for this one, because I was gonna have to make it it's like so perfect and line it up perfectly in order to fit into this square, I decided to do the iron technique. So all you do is you put the Mod Podge on, and then you dry it completely with your heat gun, okay? So once you do that, then you lay the napkin on top and then I use parchment paper and you iron it. I got my mini iron on Amazon. It works, it doesn't get super, super hot. So it's really only good for like doing this, but it gets the job done. I don't think it would work for like Cricut HTV or anything like that. I'm not sure it gets hot enough, but it works for this and that's pretty much all I use it for, so. I did that, and then in the corners, I just need to add a little extra Mod Podge because I couldn't get the iron all the way into the corners. All right, and then I took this snowflake. I got this at, I think it was Walmart. I think it was like a 99 cent little deal there. Um, and I decided to take everything off of it, and then we just redo it by painting it pink. I mixed my bright red and white paint together because I wanted a certain shade of this like reddish pinkish to match the napkin like perfectly, and none of my pinks had the shade that I needed. They were all too like diva and bubble gummy. So this is what I went with was red and white mixed together. Um, once I got two coats of that on, I just used my Mod Podge and I spread it all out. And now I did a really thin coat. And the reason why is because I'm going to do diamond dust next. I do not have a lot of diamond dust left. I need to order more. <laughs> so I did a really thin coat of Mod Podge so I could do like a thinner coat of diamond dust. If I had more, I would have done a thicker coat and I would have really, really, really diamond dusted that snowflake up. But it's just a thinner layer. I think it ended up looking super cute in the end. So it's fine. But note to self, order more diamond dust. <laughs> I had to add some at the edges where it didn't quite stick. Okay, so always make sure you save the the runoff, I guess you'd call it, put it back in your package. And then I glued that bad boy down. So I just used a bunch of hot glue, glued it down. And then we needed to do something with the wood bead. Oh no, wait a minute. First I do a little bow. That's right. Um, so once I got it all glued down, I just took, you know, I kind of wish I did a bigger bow now that I'm watching this, but you know, I can always change that. I just decided to take two different color blue baker's twine and tie them together into like a simple shoestring bow. It's cute. I like it, but I think a bigger bow at the top, not huge, but you know, just like if I had some ribbon that matched, I would use that. So then I took some blue, it's cobalt blue and white, mix that together and I get, I like do like kind of like a dry brush on the wood beads, a little bit more than a dry brush, but it's not like a solid, solid coat. And then I just dry brush that with white to give it like a snowy look. And that's it. Look how stinking cute this turned out, you guys. It's so fun, so wintry, it's pretty. I love the pink and the blues. I just love this for winter. So let me know what you guys think of this. If you love it, leave me a comment, sprinkle it out there, and let me know. Are you doing any winter crafts? I'd love to know, and even give me a picture in the comments. Have a good one.